Hi everyone and welcome to the April update for Nintex Forms for Nintex Workflow Cloud. There's two features I want to show off today, one being the regular expression option in the input validation and the other one being variable support for visible, read-only and required fields as well. So first let's have a look at the updated input validation options. So I've got a text short field here and I've got the input validation is currently set to no. Now I've got three options, length, text mask, and regular expression. So if you're not familiar with these, we'll just quickly cover these off. So length means the length of characters you can put into that field. So one, two, three, four, and clicking five won't allow me to because it's only allowing four characters. Coming back to the control again, I can then also say text mask. Text mask is slightly different. So what it means is it can only put characters into the, um, the allowed format. So I can only put a letter in where the A is, or I can only put a number where the nine is, or number or letter where the wildcard is, and a backslash to escape. So a good example is a phone number, for instance. So typing in the number will only let numbers. If I type in letters, it won't allow it. And if I tab away, it's going to give a validation error. Now sometimes some phone numbers are slightly longer or slightly shorter or you might have a serial number or might be a, a different range or it might be um, you're trying to validate if it's a specific type of email. So text mask and length are not going to help you. This is where regex comes into its own. So finally we look at regular expression. Now regular expression is a complex language and I recommend that if you're not familiar with it go and have a look at some regex articles or maybe some MSDN articles around how to write regex. I'll quickly explain this regex that I got from a customer. Now this was I think a, like an invoice number syntax that they needed and they said for the first letter it had to be uppercase lowercase c, p, s or v just for that first letter. The second letter could only be an uppercase or lowercase p. The next nine characters could be anything between zero and nine only, so only numbers. Then they had to have a colon, and the last two numbers had to be between 0 and 9. So between 00, zero to 99. So if we come across the preview, it's a bit more complex. It's not going to be guided as to like the text mask. It's going to not give you good ideas. It's purely you must know what your inputs are. So CP 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, colon 1, 2. So I know that. Now that's pretty straightforward, but if I was to put H in here, it's going to validate it. But also, you need to give your users a bit of understanding of what's actually going on. So I said, you know, how do you explain a syntax like that? So you could say it must have a C, a P, whatever it might be. So it's just something to keep in mind that you need to explain to them why that field is actually errored, because it's quite a complex thing to get your head around regex, and certainly users might not understand why that field's not working. So the second thing I want to show you is the required visible and read-only properties. So now they've gone from a boolean to a drop-down. So boolean being, or a toggle being yes, no, to now yes, no, but also accepting variables. So if we go to the read-only is, is a good example because it's easy to see. So we can set it read-only to um, yes, and it disables the control, uh, no, and it's a, you can put the text in, or you can go insert. Now you've got a few options here, you could say if the yes, no, so I've got a checkbox on the form, is true. So if the checkbox is checked, it's going to return a boolean and say yes, it is checked. So it's going to say read only is true. So go to preview, check the box, read only is true. Uncheck, turns it off again. So it's quite useful in that instance, your formulas could be quite complex. You've got a lot of different formulas in here you could use, it could be based on a query string for instance, or a GUID, or whatever you choose, there we go, uh, query string parameter, or something simple like this. You could also potentially have variables you'd use across your form, or you could also just use form controls. So if you've got a checkbox, just use the checkbox value because it's a Boolean yes, no response. So we're going back to preview, check it on, check it off. That was really simple. Now some people might ask, well, why, why would I have rules now when I can do it here and that's totally up to the discretion of the form designer. You can either do it through rules or you can do it through the config panel. However, there's more benefits in the rules engine for different scenarios. So simple things like required, read only and visibility, certainly very, very quick and easy. 
Now I could re replicate that, so I could say uh, test, and I say if the yes no is yes, then the text short read only is uh, true. Otherwise, text short read only is false. You could almost see why you'd almost choose to do it through config panel because it's so quick and easy. It still gets the same thing done. However, what if I wanted to say I want to set the text of the text short to my uh, to an email address or a query string parameter or whatever it might be you can't do that through the config panel so you've really got to pick and choose which solution you want to use and we'll also say if it's unchecked we're going to clear the value so we'll update that so go to preview checked it set my email address unchecked it clears it so it's good for those three properties visible required read only but if you need something more complex if you want to set the value or if you want to set the color of a control for instance so if I come through here text short and I say mm, control fill I'm gonna make it I don't know uh, something like that and then also say the text short uh, color fill is there we go so checking it and then unchecking it so the options totally up to you if you want to do something quick and simple Config panel is a good place. You could also do it through rules, or if you're looking for more complex scenarios, also do it through rules as well. Hope that's helpful to you. Let me know in the comments. Cheers.